Welcome to Loving Maestro. I am your host Vedan Chavla and today we are going to learn electric current and its effects class 7. So without wasting any of our time, let's start with the session. Symbols of electric components. Electric components that are electric cell, electric bulb, switch in off position and switch in on position, battery and wire. On the right side, you can see the symbols of all the electric components. Now let's learn what is an electric cell. An electric cell is a device which converts chemical energy into electrical energy. It has two terminals which are made up of metal. One terminal is positive while the other one is negative. The metal cap is known as the positive terminal, where the metal disc is known as the negative terminal. Simple electric circuit. A simple electric circuit can be made easily by using a cell, electric bulb, switches and wires. The bulb glows only when the switch is in the on position and the circuit is closed. Closed electrical circuit means the circuit is complete where and the current only flows in a closed circuit. Open circuit means the circuit is incomplete and current cannot flow in an open circuit. In a light bulb, the heated filament which is also a resistance wire becomes so hot that it also emits light. Heating effect of electric current When electric current flows through a conducting wire, the temperature of the wire increases. This is called the heating effect of the current. The amount of heat produced in a wire depends on the material length and thickness of the wire. Some examples that work on the heating effect of electric current are electric heater and electric iron. So when these appliances are connected to the electric supply, the elements inside them become red hot and start emitting heat. Now let's learn what is an electric fuse. Electric fuse is a safety device used in electrical circuits which protects the electrical circuits and appliances and prevents possible fires. So they blow off the wires and they do not also damage the electrical circuits and do not cause fire. These days MCBs or miniature circuit breakers are increasingly being used in place of fuses. Here you can see in the diagram how, you, how the MCB or the miniature circuit breaker looks. Here you can see the fuse that is used in buildings. Nowadays it is uh, replaced by the MCBs and here you can see the fuses that are used in electrical appliances. Magnetic effect of electric current Hans Christian Oristed 1777 to 1851 was the first to show the electric current also produces magnetic effect. He kept a magnetic compass near a current carrying conductor. <clears throat> it was observed that the magnetic compass shows deflection when the current passes through the conductor. Now we would have a question that how does uh, 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 the needle of a compass get deflected when the electric current flows? So let's find out. So what happens is uh, the needle of the compass is a tiny magnet which points in north-south direction. When we bring a magnet close to it, the needle gets deflected. When electric current passes through a wire, it behaves like a magnet. This is the magnetic effect of the electric current. Due to this magnetic effect of the electric current passing, when the current is switched on through a wire, the current starts flowing. A compass a needle that is kept nearby gets deflected from its north-south position. 
electromagnet temporary magnet made by placing a piece of iron inside a current carrying coil of wire is known as electromagnet and uses of electromagnets these are used in generators motors transformers electric buzzers and bells headphones and loud speakers now let's learn the functioning of electric bell the switch is pressed and current flows through the circuit the electromagnet is powered and generates a magnetic field that attracts the iron strip towards it the striker strikes the gong or the bell the striker can be a hammer when the striking arm strikes the gong the contact is broken and current stops this causes the electromagnet to lose its magnetic field the connected spring arm returns the striker to its original rest position the contact is restored and current flows uh, the current flows the process is repeated from the beginning so it was very difficult now let's learn in a very simple language so basically the uh, let's learn the structure of the construction the electric bell consists of a coil of wire that is wound on iron piece this coil acts as an electromagnet so simple the coil of wire is wound on iron piece and this uh, and uh, the co- this coil uh, acts as an electromagnet an iron strip with a hammer at one end is kept close to the electromagnet there is a contact screw near the iron strip there is a source of current and a switch simple so very thanks for watching the video if you liked it subscribe share and like the video i will meet you in the next video till then stay home stay safe thank you